Hello everybody, this is Mr. Dan once again and today we have Dougie the dog. Dougie's from Texas, the great state of Texas, right? The Lone Star State. The Lone Star Dog! You don't have to shout. I'm not shouting, I'm a dog. I just, ho Texas! Very good, okay. All right, Dougie. <clears throat> You know he loves his home state. So today we are going to be talking from scripture. Wait a second. <gasps> you got your ducky back. <laughs> ducky came back. He was with Casey the cat. And uh, he did come back and he had to do his isolation time to make sure he was okay, right? <laughs> and he said, I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> That's duck language, you guys. <laughs> All right, so Ducky's going to, Ducky, Ducky. Ducky. Can you tell him to be quiet? Be quiet, y'all. Okay, thank you. Today we're talking about scripture, and we brought some ears. And it's the scripture is from Matthew. Say Matthew. Matthew. 13.9. 13.9. And Jesus said, anyone who has ears to hear, not these ears. We're going to be talking about what kind of ears. You should listen and understand. Now you guys are probably wondering if these go on my ear. I actually was able to get it on my ear yesterday. Let's see, I was practicing, but it's kind of gross. So don't try this at home. Here we go. Y'all look so good like that. Why don't you stay like that all the time? I'm not going to stay like this all the time. Yeah, yes. No. Yes. No! Yes. You can't stare at me like that. That's what you do when you want food. Stop staring at me. Stare at the kids. Kids, you don't want him staring at you, do you? No. Okay, Dougie. Now, God wants our heart to be open to him so we can hear the Holy Spirit. So he gave us spiritual ears. You can't see him, but if we have an open heart to God, then our spiritual ears can hear what God is saying. Now a dog has really good hearing. They can hear stuff a long ways away, right? I can hear when Casey the cat is in the trash cans and when he finds something he really likes. I bet you can. And God gave us a spiritual hearing that's greater than any dog can hear things, right? Okay, so you guys the first step to hearing God's voice is praying, reading your Bible. If you, if you can't read your Bible, have someone read it to you. And then spend a little time just listening to God and see what he has to say. Every time God talks to us, it always lines up with the Bible. It'll always line up with the Bible. That's how you know it's him. And even then, talk to your parents about it and make sure that it's not just the pizza you ate for dinner. Okay, or that favorite ice cream, right? Right, or these here. Okay, so as I leave today, guys, remember, we all have spiritual ears, and if you keep your heart open to God, you'll be able to hear his voice, right? Right, Dougie? And I'm so glad you got Dougie back. See you guys later. Let's wave. Bye.